Welcome to another episode of Jamming with Jason. Hey, today we are going to talk about it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. So you may be wondering, what is it and what does this have to do with me? Well, sit back and relax and we're going to get into the episode now and you're going to find out. So let's roll that episode. All right, well, we're going to talk about it has nothing to do with you. And that may or may not be a term that you've heard before, uh, but it's a term that my mentor uses with me a lot. I hear him say it a lot, and it has, I, th I believe, many different meanings uh, because it's one of those phrases, like a lot of phrases from ancient traditions, from different spiritual paths uh, that have been developed and are adopted around the world, that it means maybe something different for you at different points in your life. Uh, one phrase, one word can actually mean a lot of different things, depending on the context that you're in and where you're at kind of in your involvement. Okay. And so today we're going to we're going to talk about that because I think it's it's an important topic for us to get into today. Now how does how does this come up? Well, you know, sometimes I will hear him say, you know, somebody's talking about somebody that is in their life that's causing him grief. And he says it has nothing to do with you. They have nothing to do with you, right? As an example. Or, you know, maybe if I'm I'm talking about something, maybe I'm concerned about something, I don't know, something comes up and you, again, you hear it has nothing to do with you. So what is it? Well, we're going to get into that uh, because it can be a lot of things. So why are we talking about this today? Well, if everything works the way it's supposed to, this podcast episode should drop on the day that America is having its national election. And there are a lot of people who get pulled into, uh, get wet with, oh, it needs to be, you know, this person needs to be it. Oh my gosh, our country is in such a mess. If this other person gets in, blah, 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 right? Lots of media coverage, lots of people worrying about who's going to become the next president, uh, you know, worried that, that their candidate may or may not win, uh, you know, concerned about maybe some of the things that people are saying, because America is really divided right now. In fact, you know, uh, I'm recording this before the national election, so I have no idea who's going to win. And you know what? It has nothing to do with you. Now, again, you might be sitting there saying, well, of course it does. Who, who's the leader of our country? That impacts me, right? That impacts lots of stuff. Well, does it really, right? If you, if you think about uh, a lot of things that we believe relate to us actually don't relate to us. And I'm going to go through and talk about some of those here. So you can start asking yourself some of these questions is, does this really matter to me? Does this relate to me, right? Does this have anything to do with me? Do I want to leak my energy and get involved in certain things like this? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, right? But at least you'll have more uh, ammunition to kind of decide what you want to do. Now, for me personally, uh, when I was a young man, my plan was to get a political science undergraduate degree, to go to law school, practice law for a while, and then go into politics. Because as a little boy, I wanted to become the president of the United States. And so I wanted to be involved in politics. In fact, you know, when I was a young man, I actually participated, uh, you know, in political activities with political party, uh, worked at the Idaho State Legislature for a while, because that was kind of the path I was going down. And then some things happened in my life and I decided, nope, that's not the path I'm going to go. I don't, I don't want to go that path anymore. So I got my accounting degree, got an MBA and, and really kind of worked in business and I'm doing 
whatever it is that I do right now, if you can figure it out, why don't you tell me? <laughs> All right. Um, and so for me, like I said, politics were a very important thing to me for a long time, right? But over the years, I've let it go. I've realized, you know, that most politics is just rhetoric to get people uh, elected. Most of the things that are promised in elections never happen. Uh, realize that there are other people behind the candidates who are actually using them as puppets for their own purposes. And so I really, you know, started to kind of drop my beliefs around politics that I had. And at first that was maybe a little hard for me, <clears throat> but I would still, you know, follow the, follow the issues. I would still vote and do all these things. And then a few years ago, I realized I don't, I'm not going to vote anymore either. And so, you know, again, it, judge me or not, it's, it's up to you. Um, but I am not voting and I did not vote in this election. Uh, and so, you know, one of the sayings I was always taught, well, if you don't vote, then you can't complain. So I'm not going to complain because I didn't vote. Uh, but I also know that my one little vote doesn't actually make a difference uh, in the bigger scheme of things. So do I care who wins the election? No. Uh, uh, do I have a preference of candidates? N not even necessarily, right? Because uh, they're, they're anyway, they're politicians. Okay. And so you can't believe what you see on the outside. So with that said, right, it's like the national election has nothing to do with me. So I don't watch the news. I don't really care about the polls. Sometimes I check in a little bit because from a business perspective, from a financial planning perspective, I need to know a little bit of what's going on but I don't get attached to it. I don't care who wins. I don't care who says what about the other people. I'm not gonna get involved in their drama because that's not how I want to use my energy. Maybe it is the way you wanna use your energy and that's fine. Uh, or maybe you're like me and would choose to have your energy somewhere else. That's an example of it has nothing to do with you, right? And in fact, you know, again, for the average person, whoever is sitting in the White House, your daily life isn't necessarily impacted by it. Yeah, there may be some policy changes and some other things, but for the most part, the government really doesn't have much to do with your day-to-day -day life. In fact, you know, many years ago, the U.S. government actually shut down for a while. Uh, and they put all non-essential services uh, on hold. And you know what? I didn't notice anything different in my life for those few weeks. Nothing was different, right? Because whether the government is shut down or the government is running, it has nothing to do with me, right? So that's one example, right? And And why do I bring this up? Because... Again, a lot of people will get sucked into drama that can come from things like the news, uh, from, you know, different <clears throat> events that are going on in the world. They can come in the form of relationships and, uh, you know, the way that we're interacting with other people. So let's talk about it in that context a little bit, right? And I even find myself still saying some of these things, but I'm working on changing my language because, you know, words are our wand and what we say comes to pass as if we're creating magic, right? And so, you know, a lot of times I will find myself saying something like, you triggered me, you triggered me, right? Like, Somebody did something and I had a, an activating, triggering kind of response. Now, does what somebody else did, does it actually trigger me? What they do, what they say, what they think has nothing to do with me 
unless I let it. Okay, let me say that again. Whatever they think, whatever they say, whatever they do has nothing to do with me unless I allow it to. So people don't trigger us. We allow ourselves, we choose to be triggered maybe by what something someone thinks, says, or does. That's us. That's our free will, our agency, our choice to do that. So, you know, part of that is accepting responsibility instead of trying to blame somebody else. So other people don't trigger me. I may get activated by something they do, you know, maybe because of some subconscious, some, some past experience, some psychological uh, archetypal type of thing going on. But I then get the chance to choose how I'm going to respond, right? And so, again, what people say or do or other things like that, it doesn't have anything to do with us. Now, I love the old quote. It goes something like this from Abraham Lincoln that says, you know, your freedom ends where my nose begins. So if you take a swing at me, right, and it doesn't touch me, you're free to do that, right? But the minute that you actually, you know, physically impact me, now we have a problem, right? And so, you know, again, we can think about it that way because we're not talking about people physically abusing other people or things like that. But, you know, a lot of times, are you being triggered by other people or do you feel activated by what other people are doing? What if you stopped blaming them and instead took responsibility for it and said, you know what? What Jason said has nothing to do with me unless I allow it to be that. And I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to get stuck in the drama. I'm not going to get wet. I'm not going to get pulled in it. That is not how I choose to use my energy. Because again, I want you to think about that. And I've, I've mentioned this before on other episodes. But effectively, when you wake up in the morning, it's like you're a freshly charged battery. And throughout the day, there are certain things that happen that require us to use our energy. And if you have, you know, a particular person maybe that you're that you're arguing with, that's going to suck a lot of your energy. If you're in fear about something that may or may not happen in the future, and you sit in that space of fear, that drains your energy pretty quick, right? And so each day, you get to choose how you want to use your energy. So, write some practical things. I read headlines. I don't necessarily read the news. I read headlines. I sometimes read articles or specific uh, uh, things based on some of the headlines, just so I can kind of stay in the loop, like I said, from a business and financial planning perspective. But I also don't try to attach myself to it, right? So if I'm reading something maybe about a war, uh, and, you know, a, a place being bombed instead of, you know, getting into fear, instead of getting into being mad at the people who are, are sending the bombs each way, the leaders of the country. Instead, I just try to focus on sending love and sending light to the people who are impacted, right? Because I have compassion for the people who are you know, they're not in the military, they're not in the government, but their house just got bombed and now they're homeless, right? I have compassion for that. Now there's reasons for it. And again, it, it doesn't matter. Apparently it was something they are supposed to go through, but I can still feel love for them. I can still feel compassion for them. I can still stop and think about them for a few seconds or a few minutes and send my love and my light to them in the ethers. I can do that. But I don't attach to it, all right? And try to say, oh, you know, those people are so bad for doing that. Because then I'm entering into judgment. Now, I still do sometimes, but my intention is not to do that, not to judge, you know, with what I'm, what I'm doing. So a practical thing is don't watch the news. Don't read the newspaper any more than you have to. Don't scroll on social media any more than you have to, because inevitably from all of those different media sources, you're going to be bombarded by a lot of things 
that have nothing to do with you. But if you allow them to have something to do with you, if you allow yourself to get mad about it, if you will allow yourself to get sad about it, uh, you know, any of those things, now you're allowing it and you're making that relevant to you when the, it's not, right? Whatever it is, is the other person's experience. It has nothing to do with you, okay? Now, I'll probably make this episode a little short, you know, this time, because like I said, I want to introduce this topic to you and start having you think, you know, again, do it, don't do it. It's up to you on what you want to do. But I know one thing that has really been helpful to me is to be more aware of if this has something to do with me or not. And most of the time when I feel like I want to control a situation, when I want to get mad about maybe what somebody said, uh, if I if I want to react instead of respond when I get activated, it's all on me. It's me, right, making something that's not relevant to me appear to be relevant to me. And so then I feel like I have to fight about it. But again, anytime I do that, it drains my energy. And so the more that I've been able to stop and say, well, does that have anything to do with me? No. Okay. Well, if it has nothing to do with me, then I'm not going to give it any thought. I'm not going to get attached to it. I'm not going to fight one way or the other about it. I'm not going to get into emotions about it. And I'm going to move my attention and I'm going to go to something where I want to use my energy, right? And like I said, that's what I'm, you know, doing. That's what I'm working on. I just wanted to share that concept with you because I'll probably be talking about it again and bringing it up again, right? Is, well, it has nothing to do with you. And if it has nothing to do with you, then why do you care? <laughs> right? So again, I know that this is a time of uncertainty. I know that, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm not uh, trying to put myself in the future, but I know that most likely there's going to be some chaotic things happening, uh, you know, after the election. It's, it's probably going to happen. But what I hope that you understand is that you're, you realize that most of it has nothing to do with you. And so there's no reason to get sucked into the drama. You know, just go about your present day, your present life in the present moment and, you know, focus on giving love, on getting love, on serving, on just trying to be a kind person, you know, as well. Because what's right in front of you is what actually does relate to you. The person that you're in a relationship with, that person relates to you. Now, again, what they do say or think has nothing to do with you, but being in a relationship with another person allows you, right, to do some of these other things, to actually love another person, to actually care for another person. And, you know, the more that we actually do that, the less we worry about everything else. And I'll tell you a little story. You know, when I was younger, I, I think I've you know, shared in many episodes, but I grew up Mormon. So a lot of our activities revolved around the church. And so as a young man, you know, I was in Boy Scouts and, and other church groups, and often we would do service projects. So we would go maybe clean up a neighbor's yard, uh, you know, lots of different things that we, that we might do as a service project. And I remember, you know, a lot of times I just didn't feel like going. I didn't want to go. I don't like that person. I don't want to go help them clean their yard, right? As an example. But my mom and my dad would force me to go, right? Because again, I lived under their roof. It's like, nope, you're going. Whether you like it or not, you're going. And so I would go. And you know what would happen every single time? I'd actually enjoy myself. I felt good at serving uh, I enjoyed the time, even though at the beginning, I didn't think I was going to, I didn't want to go. And it just shows us that, you know, when we spend more of our time actually serving others, loving others, we kind of forget about ourselves. 
And we forget about maybe some of the struggles we're going through. We forget about some of the things that we're worried about. We forget about some of the things that we're in fear about. And that's a good thing, right? And so not, but not only does service and loving help other people, but it comes right back to us. Okay. In fact, usually we benefit more than they do, even though we're there to serve them. And why is that? It's the same thing. It's that finger principle I've talked to you before about, right? Every time you want to point a finger, three are coming back at you as an example, right? And so often whatever we give, we get more in return. And again, we don't give to get, but it's just the way that the universe works. It's a universal law of reciprocity that when you give, you get, when you give, you get, right? But again, you're not giving from a place of expecting something, but you always get something back. And like I said, when I was the young man going to these service projects, I felt good, right? I mean, what what is worth feeling love, feeling peace, right? That's worth something, isn't it? And the more that we can do that, the more that we are kind to other people, the more we love other people, the more we serve other people. And again, with, with proper boundaries, right? Uh, the more we're actually growing, the more we're actually getting too. We're serving them, but by us serving them, we get service back as well. And so again, just wanted to bring that up because I, like I said, I know that, uh, you know, we'll see how it unfolds. However it unfolds, it's exactly the way it's supposed to be. But I wanted any of you, especially if you're, if you're getting pulled into drama uh, if you're if you're having some of this anxiety and other things, to just stop and start asking yourself, is whatever I'm anxious about, does that really relate to me? And if it doesn't, can you let it go? Can you just let it go and move on with your life? So that's my hope and prayer that you can do that, that I can continue to keep doing that as well. Um, so here we go. We're off for another week. Uh, so go out, uh, be kind, be love, be light, share those things with other people. Know that I love you. Uh, I care about you and I appreciate you for listening uh, to the podcast. And I, I wish you many blessings. Uh, hope that everything will be exactly as it needs to be in your life and that you can be filled with more love, with more peace uh, and really help not only in your world, but in the world in general, uh, to help bring more light to this world that desperately needs it. So with that, have a great week, and I will see you on the next episode.